Have you ever wondered why the Earth is so small? It is true that the Earth is big, but there's not enough space. Space for living, because most of it is oceans, and the land is not completely useful. But let's have some fun and make the Earth much, much bigger. Make it so big that it will be the size of Jupiter. The biggest planet in the solar system. Jupiter is 1300 times the size of Earth. We're gonna do this and let's see what happens. At least land will be much cheaper in this planet. But no promises. NASA has found a bunch of rocky planets that are similar to Earth, and some of them are even 10 times bigger than Earth. These types of planets are called super-Earth. But these super-Earths next to Jupiter are nothing, because they have to get much bigger to even compete with that size. Let's go to our monster planet. Like we said, Earth is much smaller than Jupiter. Another huge difference is that the Earth is rocky, but Jupiter is a gas planet. If we make Earth the same size as Jupiter, there is a 99.9% .9 chance that this new planet will be the biggest rocky planet in the entire universe because there hasn't been a rocky planet that even comes close to this size. Just like we said, the biggest rocky planets found are around 10 times Earth. In the diameter of Jupiter, you could fit 11 Earths. If Earth is that big, then the gravity will be that big as well. Physicists believe that if Earth is the size of Jupiter, you have to multiply its gravity by 11. For example, if you weigh 100 kilograms on Earth, on the new planet you will weigh 1100 kilograms. That means you'll weigh more than some cars. What would this gravity do to you? Can you even move weighing like that? First of all, if you're sitting down on our new planet, you can't even get up anymore because that gravity is not going to allow you to move and you also don't have enough strength for it. Imagine they're putting a one ton anvil on top of you. You can't even lift your arms because you'll be needing insane strength. In this situation, breathing will be impossible because the gravity is pushing down on your lungs. Scientists believe that a human body can handle five times the gravity of Earth. And that's for a short period of time. This seems like a bad idea. What is this? We can't even breathe. We can't even get up. In this situation, Living things are having a bad day. They're breathing their last breath. They can't even lift a finger. But what will happen to the rest of the stuff on Earth? You guys know, around three-fourths of Earth is covered by water. So an Earth that's the size of Jupiter has all that water as well. What will happen to it? In this gravity, the water molecules can't change, or at least as easy as Earth, because if it wants to change, it needs much more energy. Like for example, if you want to boil water, you need much more than 100 centigrade. And on the other side, 
the water won't freeze at zero degrees centigrade, so it will have to be much lower than zero. What will happen to the stuff we built on Earth? Buildings, roads, bridges, houses. None of these will stand because they were built for today's Earth gravity, not 11 times the gravity. First of all, the bridges will fall. Reinforced concrete buildings will fall. And few minutes later, all the other buildings will fall. So with this insane gravity, what will this new Earth do to its neighbors? The moon is not gonna go anywhere. It's gonna orbit this giant new planet. But there is a high chance that the speed of the orbit and the way it acts will change. But will it change the sun itself? We have to say that no, it will not. Because the sun itself is a monster and a Jupiter-sized Earth is not gonna do anything to it. The sun is 1,048 times Jupiter and these baby monsters aren't gonna do anything. But what will happen to Mars and Venus. The new Earth will have an effect on their orbit, the orbit around the Sun. So the new oversized Earth is not going to pull them in its own orbit and like the Moon rotated around itself. But let's go on the planet and see what's going on. All the living things are dead. Basically, they couldn't breathe anymore. Every structure, road, or anything has been destroyed. What else is gonna happen? This giant new planet and all its gravity is gonna attract a lot of new meteors. And the new planet is gonna be like a war zone. And every second, a new meteor is gonna be crashing into it. This was a fictional idea, but if something like this were to happen, the first day it would be completely destroyed. It will turn into a hell that no living thing can handle. So forgive us for this mistake. The earth should stay the same. Or we can turn the earth into the size of the sun, so it will actually be big. But don't worry about that, we're not gonna do that. We're stuck on Jupiter. Forget about the sun. 